Hey, hey, hey. Happy Saturday. Welcome to the Telesales Mastery webinar. I'm super excited to spend a little bit of time with you this morning. Uh, we have a bunch of agents going to be on this. Again, this just keeps rolling in. So I'm going to stall for a couple minutes as we have agents jumping in literally by the second. Um, I'm a little concerned about the amount of capacity that we do have available on our GoToWebinar software. So we'll see um, how that rolls. If we run out of space, I apologize. Uh, we already, already upgraded our webinar software once. May have to upgrade it again. Uh, but thank you for being a part of this. All right. So I, I want to share with you um, everything we're doing and, and why. All right. So I absolutely love, love, love this industry. Everything I, I love, everything about it. You know, I've been in it for about a decade, and I can tell you that uh, this industry is the one industry right now that is thriving. And I'm not saying it's the only one, but this industry is mostly thriving for those that know how to do this, okay, which is sell over the phone. So as people are jumping in, I want you to look in chat. All right, I want to mention something real quick. I may have to pull out my uh, my little phone today for our Telesales Mastery webinar. Um, I want I want everyone to ask questions. I want you to chime in. All right, so in chat, um, I went ahead and released a Telesales Mastery membership. Okay, I'm gonna do a ton of training, but I'm gonna talk about this really quick. Uh, and for the, I'm waiving the $297 joining fee, so $300 fee. I'm waiving it for the first 100 members that click on that link and actually join uh, the Telesales Mastery membership. It's a new membership I've created to, to literally, and I'll talk about it later today, but to literally cover everything that you need to be successful at phone sales all right so uh, make sure to do that i want to start off before i get into some training i want to start off with a little story um because i, I believe that facts tell stories sell and i'm a big believer in telling stories on the phone in person when i'm speaking on stage etc um, and so most people don't know some of the stories i'm going to share today i'm gonna do that on purpose um, because i want I, I know that we can create a little bit of a, a bond if we haven't yet uh, by telling stories, all right? So the first story I want to talk about is when I was a brand new agent, um, I went to a recruiting meeting with 10 agents, all right? And they had all 10 of us, the manager said, okay, all right, we're about to embark on this insurance career. There's 10 of you in the room. All 10 of you stand up, all right? So he's like, okay, stand up. So 10 of us stand up, all right? And we start looking around. He's all right. I said, I want you to look around at every single person that's standing up right now. All right. So we're sizing everybody up, looking around. OK. Aaron, thank you for joining, buddy. And so this just keeps he has this look around and he says, OK. Now you stay standing. Nine of you sit down. And so nine of us sit down and he says, maybe one of you will make it. I'm like, dang, this is a real positive way to start this whole deal, you know. Um, also, I thought deep down inside of me, as many of you would have probably done the same, I thought this dude doesn't know me. I'm competitive. I have a will to win that will always thrive and supersede anything that's going on. I'm one of the most competitive people you will ever meet. And, and, and that day, is the day I decided to make a hundred grand. And I wrote it down that day. I will earn a hundred thousand dollars my first year in the insurance business. Uh, also, if, if you're on my team, I'm getting a bunch of emails and messages from people trying to get in. Um, I don't know if they're unable to get in or what, but please, please check some of that for me. We got some of our some of our team members watching today as well. Um, and I decided that day, I wrote it down. I will earn a hundred grand my first year. I dated, I signed it, I put up in the wall in my cubicle, and every day I went out to make that a reality. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give away a ton of training and talk a lot today. But I, I want to start with that because I believe in life, everything is a decision, all right? I believe in life, everything is a decision. And you can decide to succeed or you can decide to fail, okay? Most people in our industry are struggling right now because they did not decide to succeed. Maybe they didn't know what to do. Maybe they didn't know how to succeed, all right? So a lot of stuff I'm going to share today is specifically going to be to help that new, that new agent or that struggling agent or even the agent that was successful at face to face that doesn't know if he or she can be successful at selling over the phone. All right. So I want, I want to let you know right off the bat, 
yes, you can be successful, 100%. Okay, I appreciate all the questions, the comments. Keep them coming. Thank you so much. You can, if you're successful at face-to-face, -face, I'm not saying it immediately translates perfectly, but you can 100% succeed at selling over the phone. I want to go ahead and tell you that up front, okay? Because confidence is a big, uh, it's a big thing in sales. I'm big on confidence. You have the ability to succeed at telesales, at phone sales, okay? So, so why, why this free webinar? Why this? Why now? Why me? Right now, I'm getting absolutely blown up with questions and requests and emails and videos and messages, right? I mean, we had, we had, we had close to 800 agents register for this right here. It's like a little mini training on a Saturday, you know? And I think the biggest reason why I wanted to do this is a lot of agents are, even though I think our industry can super thrive in, in a moment like this, a lot of agents are struggling right now. A lot of agents are struggling. And I, I don't like seeing agents struggle. You know, even when I was a brand new agent, I enjoyed seeing other people make sales more than I enjoyed seeing myself make sales. That's always been true and it's still true today. Okay, so, so when I see someone struggling, I still have a heart that I want to help you succeed, you know, and I want to challenge you today. Please, if we're not Facebook friends, add me on Facebook. If you're not following me on Instagram, at Cody.Askins, please do that. I'm going to do something special. I'm going to pick anybody that shares this, either on Facebook or Instagram, in some way, picture, video, just sharing the post, whatever, and tags me. I'm going to reach out and choose a few people that are going to share this today, and I'm going to do something special for you, okay? I promise you that, and I definitely will. Okay, so we've got... We've got a lot to cover and the biggest thing for me that I wanted to make sure that I do was I wanted to make sure that I reached out and helped those agents in need the best way I knew how and, and I'm not charging for this obviously it's free you know and, and I know that if I can if, if, if this impacts just one person and if just one person succeeds because they were on this then I've done my job adequately. I've, I've, jumped, I've, I've done my job and I'm going to feel good. I'm going to feel good about everything that we got going on and everything that we're doing. Okay. I, I know that I want you to succeed and, and I know you can. Okay. So my goal for this, right, to go ahead and put out my goal. I'm big on goals. Anybody that follows me that watches me knows I'm huge on goals. All right. So I got, I got to state my goal, right? My goal. I think we should have upgraded our webinar software, Andy, uh, getting close to capacity. My goal for this is that you leave here with a confidence and a belief that you can succeed and that something I say or do touches you and impacts you in a way that you go and be successful at phone sales and then you go and be successful at phone sales and then you look back and maybe you attribute a minute part of your success to this free webinar today. Okay, that's my personal goal. Um, I've got I've got a bunch of amazing relationships with a lot of amazing people that actually shared this out with their whole teams and their entire companies today. Um, so thank you for that. I'm honored, um, and, and I love I love having a great relationship with a lot of lot a lot of people in this industry. Okay, so so that's that's my goal. All right. So what I'm going to talk about first is that most people I'm going to talk about a story of how when I first got into telesales that most people do not know yet. OK, so I'm going to make sure that I reference that. So immediately back in 2015, uh, 2014, uh, we went from captive to independent. And in 2015, I made a decision to actually start a call center with a with a with a with a, with a, a few other guys all right ty dallas and, and my dad brian and, and we we started we decided to open our own call center selling medicare supplements and final expense over the phone no i had zero phone sales experience the previous company i was with they said do not sell over the phone it is not allowed you go see someone face to face or you don't sell them at all it is not allowed for you to sell over the phone so i'm like dang that's uh, that's a strong statement. So when I went and in 2015, we decided to start selling medical supplements, file expense over the phone. We did it through cold calling. So I'm building training. 
and scripts and all the things I've learned about sales, all the success I've had in sales and, and, and implementing it into this new telesales operation where we are, we don't know any better because I had zero phone sales experience at sell over the phone. We decide, appreciate everybody that's sharing this thing out and tagging me and everything else. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much. Um, we decided that we were going to do this by cold calling. Okay. So we went and purchased a list of like 60,000 names between the ages of 65 and 74 in the state of Missouri. And we had them all scrubbed against the do not call list. We were smart enough to do that, even though we didn't know anything about what we were doing. And we built that call center over the next six months from literally no sales, no sales experience, no phone sales experience. We had six openers that were cold calling, transferring to three closers. And I learned a lot of things along the way. I made a ton of mistakes. A lot of the stuff I'm going to share with you today are things I learned by simple trial and error. And I believe that if I can do it and succeed at phone sales back then, five years ago, with no experience at all, I fully believe that you can as well. I'm sold on the fact that you can succeed at phone sales. So, so by, by doing this, and again, not having any clue what we were doing, learning how to pitch, learning how to intro a call, learning how to get control, learning how to overcome objections, learning how to close, learning everything every step of the way, we grew that over the next six, and then some of the things we learned is in that membership, by the way, that we released. And again, I'm waiving the fee for the first 100 members, and I'm gonna also add something special today as well. Uh, that I'll mention here in just a second, okay? And in that, in that, in those six months, eight months, I, I, we grew it cold calling from zero to some months, 80, 100 policies per month by not having a clue what we were doing. I got to where I was personally closing 40 policies a month from cold calling you say, well, Cody, how were you able to go from no phone experience, no clue what the heck you're doing? Dude, thank you, Marlon. No, no matter what was going on and no clue what I was doing to, to be able to do that, okay? And I'm gonna do a bunch of training, stay with me, okay? I gotta set this up, we'll set the stage a little bit because most of you don't know my phone sales background, okay? And, 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 and I got to where, I got to where during that time, I got to where during that time, uh, I could cold call on a dialer for five hours myself with no opener at all. I, I, I could cold call for five hours with no opener at all, and I could sell a final expense life insurance policy over the phone every five hours that I cold called on my own. If I can do that, and I got to where every day I could sell a final expense policy from cold calling over the course of a scrubbed cold call list for five hours. If I can do that, you can too. Trust me. Okay. If I can do that, you can too. So that, that was my first phone sales experience. Now, what most people don't know is later, towards the end of 2015, I decided to actually sell my percentage of that call center. And I then decided to start everything I'm doing now. I started on YouTube immediately after that because I noticed that I had a gift for helping insurance agents succeed and helping people go from no experience to highly successful at a tangible skill. I learned that was a gift of mine and that I was greedy if I did not share that out with the rest of the world. Okay, now I've got about 15,000 agents that follow our YouTube channel on a daily basis. Now we're throwing a conference. We'll have 1,500 to 2,000 insurance agents in Vegas in, at the end of July, which is going to happen, by the way, for those that are curious. Okay, so that was my first experience to phone sales. That was my first one. Okay, so I'm going to jump into some specific training that I think will really set the stage really quick as we get started. How about our new 8% Nation um, interview chairs that we just got in? That we're going to have at the conference in Vegas. Okay, if you, if you don't have your ticket yet, yeah, you can go to apristation.com to grab it. All right, thank you everybody that's sharing everything and tagging me and post everything about this. Um, also, thank you. We've had a bunch of people that are actually jumping in, in on the membership. Again, 
I have a new telesales mastery membership. I'm going to actually get companies to collaborate with me and we're going to give it all away for 97 bucks a month. And I'm going to waive the $300 joining fee for the first 100 members. I'm also going to do something. I'm going to, I'm going to decide to do something special right now for the first 100 individuals that join that. Actually for anyone that joins between yesterday when we released it and the end of the webinar today, anybody joins during this webinar, I'm going to include, I'm going to cap it at 50 people, okay, because I, I can't do a ton of this, but I'm going to do a free strategy call with you. Anyone that joins that membership today, my team, are, are they're, they're probably thinking I'm nuts right now. I'm going to include a free strategy call with me so that I can help you succeed. You might have joined the membership today, free strategy call with me within the next 30 days, all right? So my next 30 days will be pretty busy now, all right? So here's what, here's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about Cody's five C's, okay? I'm going to talk about Cody's five C's to actually lay the framework for what you need to know to be really, really, really good at phone sales, all right? And I'm going to try to help this out a little bit uh, so where you can read it, okay? So I'm going to, I'm going to make sure that I try to not only get this close enough, but I write big enough for you to see it. All right, so I'm gonna give you five C's that are gonna set the stage so that we can get your mind right for the training you're about to receive, all right? So the first one, the first C is coachable. The first C is coachable. Are you coachable? How coachable are you? Are you someone that has an ego? that can't learn, I would take a, a, a poor salesperson that's coachable. I've got two not great previous salespersons that joined my team in the last couple of years that are superstars making three grand a week in my office. One of them made more, actually they both made more this week because these dudes are coachable. We've had a lot of people go through our sales team that had an ego, that had, had, had an ego problem, that weren't coachable, that didn't listen, and they're no longer here. People that have an ego problem do not last in this business. People that are coachable are the ones that want to learn, are the ones that want to be successful, are the ones that are committed to doing this and being great at this. Okay, so the first C, you tell I'm getting excited. When I start training, I get I get my energy goes up, man. I'm energy everything. I'm gonna talk about that today. First C is coachable. My question to you is every time I say something today, I want you to ask yourself, is this you? Are you coachable? Are you coachable? Again, uh, Andy and the team, Derek, uh, Dylan, Brett, everybody, everybody that's on my staff that's watching this, um, we're getting really close to our maximum number of attendees that are allowed to join this. You may want to look into upgrading, and, but maybe it's too late, all right? I wanted to say that because um, we're at about, <laughs> we're up over 800 agents registered now. It continues to grow, okay? First thing, coachable. Are you coachable? Second C. <clears throat> Second C after coachable is control, control. What I mean by control is great salespeople are always in control. If the prospect is in control, you will not make the sale. Great salespeople are always in control. Appreciate you guys all sharing this out. I keep my phones blowing up over here with everybody tagging me and put me on Instagram and everything else. Thank you so much for tagging. Um, again, I'm going to choose a few people from those tags and do something special for you today. Control. Control. What's your control level? Are you always in control? The first, Harvard says, Harvard Business Review says, the first five seconds are extreme. You can't see it all, but the first five seconds are extremely important. When you're doing anything over the phone, the first five seconds are extremely, extremely important. Okay, first five seconds are really important. I also know that the first 60 seconds are super important for getting their attention and that the first three minutes is when you can take control and qualify them in or qualify them out of being worthy to talk to you. Control. Control, great some people are always in control. I don't mean you're in control by talking a ton. That's not what I mean, okay? Don't confuse control with gift of gab and talking, all right? 
great salespeople, they ask questions. They lead the conversation with questions. They steer the path that we're going down. And they're always in control. Are you always in control? We, we do interviews for our sales team here. And when someone says, Cody, I have the gift of gab. I'm a great salesperson. I can talk to anybody. I got the gift of gab. No, thank you. Please exit my office. I tell Andy, if someone says I have the gift of gab, do not hire them. Do not hire them. Are you in control? Control doesn't mean you're talking more than a prospect. In fact, in fact, I'm actually telling you, I'm telling you right now that most people are joining the membership today. Appreciate you doing that. All right. I think I just committed overcommitted myself with some with some free strategy calls, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because I, I, I believe in high integrity, high ethics, and doing what you say you're gonna do. Okay, that's one thing that goes a long way in business. If you say you're going to do something, do it. Don't ever say you're going to do something and not do it. Because people will ridicule you. They can see through your BS and they will not ever do business with you ever again. Okay, control. In fact, great salespeople actually talk less than the prospect. I know early in a call, I can tell, I can personally tell within the first 10, 15 minutes of a call if they're, if I'm going to make a sale later or not. Okay, I've done so much phone sales over the years. I physically know, I physically can tell within the first 10, 15 minutes of the call if they're going to say yes an hour later. I can predict the future because if I can get them talking, they're going to tell me why I'm going to be selling them. Okay, I can predict it all. I'm telling you, great salespeople talk less than prospects. When I get the prospect talking more than I do, I make sales end of story. Okay, that's it. When they talk more than I do, they tell me why we're gonna do, do business together. They tell me why I'm gonna sell. They tell me how I'm gonna sell. They tell me everything I need to know. People like to talk, they like to vent, they like to talk about themselves. Give them the opportunity. Okay, that's the second C. Control. Gotta be in control, man. Gotta be in control. Okay, third C. You guys, you guys got me getting excited today. Third C, there ain't anything better in the world than helping insurance agents succeed. That's all I got to say, okay? The third C, great salespeople are confident. That's And confident it is a personal swag. I'm confident in my ability. I'm confident in my ability to get it done. done. I'm confident in what I'm selling. I'm confident that I have the ability and the will and the skill level to get it done. Okay, great salespeople are confident in their ability. They're coachable, they're always in control, and they're confident in their ability to be successful. If you, if you aren't confident, the purpose of this membership that we're, that we're waiving the fee, the $300 fee for the first 100 members to join, and anybody that joins today, I'm giving a free strategy call. The purpose of that is simply because you need to be confident. And if, and if 97 bucks in a little small membership can help you be more confident, you can make one eighth of a sell and you've already paid it back. Okay, so confident, you must be confident. And we created that membership to get you confident. My question to you is how confident are you in your phone sales ability? And if it's low, you can increase it. If it's low, you can make it higher and better. Okay, we are recording this. For those that are joining and missed a few things okay the fourth thing the fourth thing after confident the next one this one's really important this one's actually my personal favorite any any guesses in in in, in the questions on what it is we got a ton of questions appreciate all the support appreciate everybody jumping in man i love the activity in this this is awesome okay the fourth one certainty Certainty. You say, well, Cody, isn't confidence and certainty the same thing? No, they are totally different. And what I mean by that is confidence is a personal swag in yourself. Certainty 
is I am certain I'm going to be doing business with them today. I'm certain they're going to answer the phone. I'm certain they're going to want to talk to me. I'm certain I'm going to get control. I'm certain they're going to answer my questions. I'm certain they're going to talk to me for an hour. I'm certain that, that, that when I'm done, I'm, uh, they're going to end up buying for me. And I'm certain, this is the most important part, stay with me, pay attention right here. I'm certain that if I do not help this person I'm on the phone with, I am doing them a disservice. Here's what I mean. We're releasing this new membership. I'm confident that anyone that joins that, I'm helping them succeed. I'm confident anyone that doesn't join it has a lower chance of success. That's how certain I am in my ability to help you. Okay? You have the same certainty with your prospect. Think about your prospect right now. When you're on the phone with them, our industry is saving lives, it's helping people, it's doing the right thing, and people need our help right now more than ever, which is which, what that means is if you talk to someone and you do not close them, I'm preaching now, if you do not close them, you are doing them a disservice. That's how certain I am. In what we're selling are you certain in it as well are you or are you not you got to be certain in the product the, the the service the company and you and that the customer is going to do whatever you want them to do because if, if, if you're doing if you're doing right by someone and you're helping someone people say well I don't want to pressure people I close in a way that it never feels like I'm actually pressuring you. I do it in such a respectful, direct, soft way that in like, like my personality is I don't come across when you meet me as this extremely aggressive individual that's inside of me. That goes a long way on the phone because they don't feel it coming. And I'm like a freaking ninja that is going to sell them 100%, but they may not realize it in that moment. Okay, certainty. I'm certain that what you're selling benefits your consumer. The faster that you get on board with that and that you agree with that, the faster you are going to help people succeed. Okay, that's it. I, I, I am sold on that. Okay. Number five, the fifth C, after certainty. I, I, I mean, on a scale of one to 10, you have to be an 11. Prospects feel conviction. If your conviction is lacking, your sales will too. I know agents right now that did 50 grand in three weeks hand dialing leads. Their skill level was so high and their certainty was so high that it did not matter. It didn't matter. Okay. Fitzy, you probably guessed it. Probably guessed it. Okay. Great salespeople are consistent. Consistent. They show up whether they feel like it or not. Last week, and some of, uh, we're really more last week. I had a little bit of a cold. I did not feel well. Okay. I feel freaking phenomenal now. I had to show up anyway because I do not want to be a bad example. Okay. My father, I remember, I remember when I was 16 years old. This relates to this, by the way. I remember when I was 16 years old. I was supposed to go work at the local Apple market in Rogersville, Missouri. Little grocery store. That's where I started at 16. My first job was, first official job was working in a grocery store. And I was supposed to go at four o'clock. I was part time and I was going to work a four to 10 p.m. shift. OK. It was three thirty and I was throwing up and I did not feel well. I went to my dad and said, hey. I'm throwing up. I don't feel well. I don't think I'm going to go to work today. And he looked at me and he said something. He said, and I still remember it today, still powerful. Hopefully you remember this story later when you're not thinking about showing up one day. He said, 
You do whatever you want to do. But you know what I would do. And I'm like, dang. <laughs> and I knew what he meant because I'd never seen him miss a day of work in his whole life. The dude showed up every day, whether he felt like it or not. So when I don't feel well, I show up anyway. Okay, now there's a lot of stuff going on in the world and I understand, right, that I'm not referring to the unfortunate circumstances that are going on currently. However, if I have the ability to show up, I don't, I don't care if I'm throwing up or I got a cold or allergies or, you know, whatever. If I have the ability to show up, I'm going to show up. Last Thursday and Friday, not this past Thursday and Friday, it was the previous Thursday and Friday, about a week ago, a little over a week ago, I, I did not feel well. I went to work anyway and worked with the sales team on Zoom all day because I have to lead by example. You have to lead by example. So my question for you is, are, how consistent are you? Are you showing up consistently? Do you do the things you don't want to do every day, whether you feel like them or not? That's the message here. Great self people show up. Now, great salespeople also invest in their business, okay? And thank you for everybody that's joining in on the membership. Again, the first 100, I'm waiving the fee, the joining fee. And Stephen, thank you, buddy. I'm also, I'm also, anybody that, that, that joins during this webinar, I'm giving you a free strategy call with me, okay? Free strategy call with me. Mike, thank you for joining, buddy. Appreciate it, okay? Consistency. How consistent are you? Winners show up whether they feel like it or not. Okay, that, 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 that's, 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 the, that's the truth of it. So there's the five C's, coachable, control, confident, certainty, and consistent. Now, now, I wanna talk really quick about, and it relates to this, about my gift. Okay, everyone has, everyone has a gift. Everyone has been blessed with a God-given gift. Adrian, thank you for joining as well. Everyone has been blessed with a gift. You right now, Albert, who's watching, you have a gift. Adrian, you have a gift. Let's try to scroll down away so I can get out of the A's. Daryl, you have a gift. George, James, right? You get the idea. We have a gift, my gift, my personal gift is being able to get people to make a decision whether they feel like it or not. My gift is imparting conviction to do something right now. That's my personal gift. For example, I was always really good at selling over the phone and getting people to buy right now, whether they felt like it or not. I'm doing, as long as I'm doing right by them, then they should do it right now. And I'm doing a disservice if they don't. That's how sold I am on what I'm talking about and, and on the ability to help them. And you should be that certain as well. It goes back to certainty. So, so that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a gift of mine. Beatrice, thank you for joining that, that, that's a gift of mine, getting someone to do something that they maybe didn't want to do before. Now, here's a secret. Here's a secret that most people don't know. And some of you are going to tune out and get upset and jump off the webinar because of what I'm about to say next. OK, it's good. It's probably going to happen. 800 people registered or more. Somebody's going to get upset by this. I believe. The way you buy is the way you'll sell. Hmm. Let that sink in for a second. Let that sink in for a second. Say that out loud again. I believe the way you the way you buy. Timothy, thank you for jumping in, buddy. The way you buy is the way you'll sell. What I mean by that is, what I mean by that is, I was talking to an agent. Um, well, actually, I'm gonna tell a different story. I was talking to a prospect a few years ago. 
and actually this was an agent and i was talking to the agent and i he, he said well i want to think about it we were we were talking about getting him out to nashville for the first ever eight percent okay and this applies and and and, and, and i he said he said he said sounds good let me think about it you know let me let me let me uh send it over i'll look it over you know i said i said he said call me back you know all this all this stuff right and he said, and I said, and I had actually never said this before to someone else, even though I knew it to be true. I said, do prospects ever tell you they want to think about it and call you back? Like insurance prospects that you're trying to sell. He said, yeah, they do. I said, I believe prospects are telling you they want to think about it. Because when you buy stuff, you want to think about it. Ooh, it's good. It's good. Most people don't realize this, all right? Most people don't realize this. Think about it. I bought my house the first time I saw it. I buy cars without even seeing them now. I decided to do 8% Nation while I was sitting at another conference and made a decision to do it and then just did it. Yeah, maybe I've lost a half a million dollars doing it. Who flipping cares? I made a decision to do it anyway. Okay. I decided I was going to marry my wife the first time I saw her. No, there's no doubt in my mind. I, I left and told my dad, if, if, if I can get this girl, I'm done with everybody else. Because I've always bought that way. And because I don't like to think about stuff, right? When you think about stuff, it bogs down your mind. It, 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 it bogs you down and it forces you to add all these extra decisions in your life that you really should not be thinking about right now. The more you can get decisions off your plate, the more you can move on to the next decision. If you think about stuff, then your prospects will also think about stuff. I have such conviction in getting people to, Steven, think about it. I have such conviction in getting people to make a decision right now. That that's the way I buy and that's the way I sell. So my question is for you, how do you sell? Do you sell the same way? Okay, do you sell the same way? And if you don't and you think about stuff, and you don't take action on stuff when you know you should, you will end up losing prospects because they can feel that. Sales is conviction. Sales is energy. Sales is enthusiasm. Sales is transferring certainty and confidence of what you're selling into the prospect from you and into them. And if you don't buy that way, you will struggle to sell that way. I'm telling you that to be true. Okay, so I want to go over one thing. In just a second, I'll race this in just a second. And what I mean by that is, I, I played I, I played a little uh, game with my sales team one day. I'm gonna tell you a quick story. I was playing a game with my sales team one day, and I said, okay, I came in, I was dissatisfied with their effort and their sales, and everything else. This has been a while back. I think it was um, over a year ago. And I went to my sales team, and I said, okay, we're gonna play a little game this morning. I said, here's a post-it note. It was five, I think it was five salespeople at the time. I said, write down one name and number of one person that will never do business with us. They are impossible to sell. You cannot sell them and you never will. And I can't either. I said, write down that name and number. I said, don't tell me anything about them. I don't want anything clouding my judgment or any of this fake stuff that they told you that, that that's not true to that starts clouding my judgment okay i don't want to hear it name and number write it down i said if i don't close them today i'll give you a hundred dollars cash to all five of you they're like bet dude this is great so they're like you know getting excited and writing down i said now choose a tough one now choose a tough one and it was funny because they gave me the names, the post-it note. And I sold four out of five that day of people that would never buy. 
And the other one I would have had, I'm not going to create an excuse and even talk about it, but I closed 80% of people that would never purchase from us ever. Why was that? It was phone sales, by the way. Why was that? Because I was certain that I could. I was certain that I could and that I would. And by being certain that I could and that I would, I ended up doing better than a lot of people would because I believed that I could. Okay? I believed that to be true. I believed that specifically I could and would be successful doing that. All right. I got a ton more training, so stay with me. All right. Also, appreciate everybody that's joined the membership. I'm waiving the fee for the first 100 members. Also, anybody that joins today during the webinar, first 50, I'm doing a free strategy call. Um, actually, you know what? Anybody that joins it during the webinar, I'll just do a free strategy call anyway. Okay. Now Andy's really going to blow my phone up and think I'm nuts. Okay. Appreciate everybody doing that. Okay. So that was a test for my sales team. Why did I do it? Number one, it created confidence in myself. Okay, number one, when you put stuff out there, when you try to get attention, when you push stuff out in the public and you do stuff you normally wouldn't do, you should take some risk just to prove that you have what it takes. Two years ago, I would have never done this. 800 people live on video talking, maybe up to 1,000 now. I have no idea. I haven't checked in, in, in an hour. I would have never done this. I would have never had enough confidence to do it. But I've done stuff like this so much now that I'm confident in my ability to deliver and help people that who cares if I've done it before or not, it doesn't matter. The two things that, that affect sales, new sales people, any new salesperson, there's two things that affect them. They think they need to know everything before they do anything. That is a freaking problem. And they think that they need to talk. And because they don't know enough, they end up talking too much. They end up talking more than the prospect and they never make sales. Okay, that's, that's the two faults of new salespeople is literally, I talk too much and I think I need to know everything before I do anything. That, that ain't true. That is not true. Okay, so I'm going to go over, before I get into some more specific telesales training, and thank you everybody that's tagging me and posting everything and sharing everything and, and following me and everything on Facebook and Instagram. I appreciate that. I'm at Tony.Askins on Instagram. I'm probably most active on Instagram, by the way, in case you were wondering. Uh, three A's. I'm going to go over three A's. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate you jumping in on the membership, buddy. Three A's. Three A's that are fully that are fully within your control right now with everything else going on in the world. There's three A's. I could go on all freaking day with the amount of stuff I'm planning on going over. Three A's. And if you jump off early, you'll miss the best part and you'll miss the special bonus at the end. Okay, so stay with me. Three A's. And three three A's are 100% in your control. You have control over all three of these, and I'm going to go over them right now, okay? You have full control over these three A's. First A, first A, is your attitude. The first A that you have full control over is attitude. The attitude that you show up with. Thank you, Gary. The attitude that you show up with every day, the attitude that you wake up with, the attitude that you start selling with, and the attitude that you embark on your day. Okay, the attitude, your attitude, you have full control over. When I work out in the morning, my energy is better. How about the energy on this? Is this good or is this good? Okay, my energy is better when I wake up, I work out, and I get serious about my day. I have control over the attitude. I, I may, you know what? There's this DISC personality assessment disorder, DISC, DISC. I'm a 100 on a D and a 90 on an I, driven and influential and freaking crazy. High Ds wake up unhappy with the results that they put forth in their life. High Ds are never satisfied. It's a blessing and a curse. Most days I wake up feeling like I've never accomplished a thing ever it's true most days i feel like i've never accomplished a thing ever but i don't have to have that attitude and be upset and ticked off the rest of my day i have the ability to control my attitude the rest of the day so that's why i wake up between 5 5 5 5 5 15 9 a.m i write down my goals i work out 
I train, and I take a cold shower. And that helps my overall attitude. It helps me have a better attitude throughout the rest of the day. The attitude that you show up with. You can be a complainer, you can whine, you can look for excuses, or you can be positive and have a great attitude and look for results. Successful people, not only do they make decisions quickly and change them slowly, which most of you don't know, they have an amazing attitude at all times. Whether they feel like it or not, the attitude is important. Okay, Se second A, outside of attitude. Action. You have full control over the amount of action. I, I, I'm going to put it bigger on purpose. The amount of action that you put forth, you have full control over the amount of action that you put forth. Full control. And what is action? Action is activity. You have full control over the action and the activity that you put forth throughout your day. And what I mean by that is if, hypothetically, if you wanted to make 200 dials today, could you do it? Tony, thank you. Could you do it? Yes, you could. So why don't you? If this is 100% within your control, how much activity you put forth? And I'm telling you, I don't know what I'm doing, and I don't have a script, I don't know what to say, is weak. Nobody cares, other than me maybe because I'm doing this and, and create the membership. But in general, you'll learn along the way, even if you don't know anything. I didn't know what I was doing when I first started a call center and grew it successfully, but I knew I would learn along the way and by trial and error, you put forth $200, $1,000 a week, $1,000 a week. I don't care what leads you're working. I don't care if you're flipping cold call. It doesn't matter. You will have success if you just commit to having success. I believe everything in life is a decision. I believe everything in life is a decision. And you have the decision to decide how much action you're going to put forth. Okay? That's the second A. Third A is how attentive you are. Attentive is focus. What's your focus level? How focused are you on your success? Are you focused and ready to succeed? Because right now you can make a lot of excuses. There can be a lot of distractions going on. You can just you can you can you can decide. We got more, more people. We get even more jumping in. Okay. How focused are you? You can, there's a lot of distractions going on right now and you can make a lot of excuses for you not succeeding. Will you or will you not? How focused are you? Do you need to eliminate some distractions? If you're working from home, do you need to go into an office or a bedroom and close the door and lock it and be in your own zone and get some music playing so you can drown out the noise? And be focused on the task at hand. Our sales team, they're all on Zoom on video, and I can see them all day. Get in another room. This is what we told them. Get in another room. I didn't ask them. But, you know, they're on my team, right? Get in, and they love what they're doing, right? And we had a newbie make 2600 bucks or whatever, 2200 bucks, something like that, this week, the second week ever. It's crazy. Because we said, hey, get in a room, close the door. Get on Zoom, put your video on all day. I want to see you. And by doing that, we had the biggest month ever in March and possibly the biggest sales team week ever this week. You have control over how focused and attentive you are. Complete focus on how attentive and focused you are. Absolute complete control. So I'm going to go over now. The five things that every telesales tele insurance agent needs. Okay, specifically, specifically, five things that every telesales agent needs. And I'm going to share, share with you where to find them. As you're joining this membership, we're getting it built out. There is little to nothing. There's a lot in there already, but there's nothing compared to what there will be. I'm going to collaborate with the top five call centers in the country that I know that are in my network that I'm friends with and I'm going to have them put content in there for free as a partnership with me so that we can give back to the industry. I'm going to take the culmination of the entire industry and everything telesales related and I'm going to put it in here just for
for you. There will never be an excuse ever again in our industry of I don't know what to do because I, I, I've never telesold before, okay? Doesn't matter. Very soon, I think it is right now, but very soon this will be the number one telesales training platform on the planet for insurance agents, okay? Do you feel the certainty? Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely that certain that that is going to be the case. And I'm that certain that right now is the best time ever to join because I'm waiving the $300 joining fee, okay? Number one, what's the first five things, first five things that every telesales agent needs to be successful at selling insurance over the phone? What are they? Put, 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 some, put some guesses in, 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 in chat and comments and questions. I'm curious, okay? We've we'll got about 50 minutes. Um, I may go probably 90 minutes to two hours today. Um, I don't know specifically, but I know that, uh, <clears throat> and I'm getting, I mean, getting some emails, um, Derek and Andy, about, hey, I want to join. How do I join? We put the link in chat, or you can just go to training.codyaskins.com and find the Telesales Mastery Membership to join. Okay, the first thing, the first thing that every telesales agent needs to be successful at selling insurance over the phone. It's resources. You need to have all the resources at your disposal so that no matter what, you know enough to be successful and you have all the resources necessary to be successful at, and I'm getting the sales process here in a little bit, at, Appreciate everybody sharing and tagging me and everything. I really do. I'm going to choose a few people that do that, and I'm going to do something special for you. Resources. What's that look like? How? What, what type of resource? Because because you need not only do you need script, you need everything when it comes to you need documents. You need everything related to the specific resources that you need to be successful. Okay. And these are the five things we're adding to this membership, this Telesales Mastery membership. First thing is resources. You need a lot of resources so that you know what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Okay. Second thing. Second thing. Anybody that stays till the end of this, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna do something special. Second thing. Training. Write these down because if you don't have all five of these, it's very difficult to be successful in phone sales. Actually, it's impossible. Okay. Every successful Telesales agent I know, they have all five of these things. And you probably do too. Okay, training. Training as in objections, closing, right? What's the process? Videos. I'm going to get these top call centers in the, in the nation to do videos with me to help agents succeed. I'm going to take all the telesales knowledge in the entire world when it comes to insurance sales over the phone and dump it into this membership. That is my commitment to you. Okay, training. One of the more important parts, because without training, you're not going to know what to do or what to say or how to overcome this or how to overcome that or what to do this or how to do this or when it comes to closing, what to say and what to do. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it, Jay. Thank you for joining, buddy. That's the second thing. Third thing. Third thing immediately that you absolutely have to have is you got to have leads and marketing. Whether whether you're cold calling, you still got to get data. Okay, so not only are we going to have discounts on leads, marketing services. Andy, add this. We're going to add a we're going to add a discount where you can actually buy data for cold calling if you ever want to do that, to where you get a discount to actually buy age leads in your state, should you ever want to do that, okay? Everything that you would need, we're going to put in this Tell Master membership when it comes to leads and marketing, because there's a lot of things you can do with leads and marketing, whether it be an automated follow-up funnel to book appointments, to drive inbound calls, to call leads. Also, remind me, Andy, we're going to also add a discount with some live transfer options so that you can have, if you want to just go buy live transfers to directly transfer to you, we're going to include discounts on that too. Everything we're saying may not be in there today, but it will be in there very, very soon over the next coming days. Okay. Leads and marketing are super important because without leads and marketing, 
it, whether it's even if it's data, you have no one to talk to. You need people to talk to every day. The big thing with telesales and the way you can become successful at it is you have to be talking to people nonstop. Just like face to face, and if you sit down with people every single week, the same thing for telesales. When you actually have people, what, the goal, okay, just the goal here, the goal is to have to talk to 40 good conver good people conversations per week. In case you were wondering on what the goal was, it's 40. It's 40 people a week, okay? Whether that's from transfers, leads, it's good conversations, it's presentations, whatever. It's about it's about 40. If you can get to that number, if I'm talking to 40, you know, good calls that last more than three minutes, dude, you're, you're going to have a ton of success. You'll close five to eight policies a week, no matter what you're selling, okay? That's the goal. That's the number. That's the real data for you, okay? Number four is technology. You need technology. And when I say technology, I'm talking about dialers. I'm talking about CRMs. I'm talking about different marketing automation tools. Anything, I'm talking about headsets. Anything that you need, we are going to include in this so that you can get discounts. You're going to get discounts on so much stuff that you're already using or that you need to be using that the, the membership fee the measly small membership fee that's on this Telesis Mastery membership is going to end up, you're going to end up making money by joining. That, that's how, I, and I'm confident that will happen, okay, because I'm going to do my very best and, and I'm going to commit now to getting everything you would ever need put into one centralized place and I'm going to get it from anybody have a, a, from my relationships and I'm going to get it in there, okay, so that no matter what, you have everything you need to be successful at phone sales and you don't question it because question creates doubt, which creates a lack of confidence, which creates a less of a lower certainty level, and you end up not closing deals because of a lack of certainty. Okay, so technology, because technology is important nowadays. Okay, I'm not saying you can't still have a ton of success hand dialing. I think that's great. That's, that's there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I know I know a lot of people are crushing it by hand dialing still. You know that's good, but there's also other ways. That you other technologies that people are using, even when they're hand dialing or if they're not, that you can add to your repertoire and that you can know how to do and be good at and understand it and have access to it. That's that's the point. When it comes to anything nowadays, it's having access to what's available, what should I be using, and the right thing specifically. Thank you, Terry, for joining. Okay. I am doing a free strategy call for anyone that joins that Telesis Mastery membership, which the link is in chat. Anyone that joins it during this webinar. Okay, the fifth one. And even when you go to that link, you can still hear me, all right, through your computer, even though you may not be able to see me for a second, okay? The fifth one is carriers. Carriers. What carriers should I be using? Okay, I'm going to get to where literally everything resource-wise related to a carrier that you would need to be successful is in here, is in this membership, because carriers are important. Okay, carriers are important. Efton, thank you. Okay, I think I pronounced it right. Carriers are important. You got to know who to sell, why to sell them, when to sell them. Okay, and if you're already with a company right now and they already have carriers specifically for you, just use those. You know, just use those. There's a lot of options in our industry, and of all of these, this is it's important. You know, there, there's better processes with certain carriers. But it's the least important of all the options, you know. You could give me a carrier, probably the worst one in the industry, whatever, whoever that may be, or the worst option in the industry. Okay, Michael, thank you, buddy. And I can have success with them because I have the resources, the training, the leads in the marketing, and the technology. Okay, that that that's the point. That's what I mean by this. Okay. So those are the five things that every telesales agent needs. Now I'm going to tell you a quick story as well. Okay, I told you I'd incorporate some stories along the way. This is a good one. I don't. I, I'm, I'm very few people that are on this webinar have actually heard this, heard the story I'm going to tell. Okay. So the story we've been, we've been going about close to an hour. The the John, thank you for joining. The story is that I went and bought my first month ever in insurance. I made nine grand. Okay. First month ever, I made nine grand. All right, first full time, the month that they consider my first full time month, I made nine grand selling insurance. And 
my <laughs> my parents were out of town on a company trip out in Vegas, and I went and Mark, thank you, buddy. I went and bought a. I went to look at a car, and I went to look at this Dodge Challenger SRT8. I think back then this was like an 08 model, maybe. This was back in like 2011 or 12. Okay. And I bought and I went to look at this car. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, I'm making good money. I'm a car guy. I love cars. I'm drooling over this Dodge Challenger. I've owned two Dodge Challenger SRT8s. I'm a big fan of Challengers. I'll probably end up getting another one at some point. Okay. Big fan of these cars. I don't know why. They're just, man. If you've ever been in, if you've ever been in one of these Challengers, you get in the seat. You absolutely hit the floorboard and your you know whole head you hit the gas pedal and your whole head just sucks to the back of the seat all right that's how good it is and i wish they made a convertible option of those maybe they do now i don't know but um paola thank you for sharing that and mentioning me in the in my story appreciate that um and i went to the sales guy at this car lot when i was wanting to buy this car and i said uh i want to buy this car and he's like you know oh, how old are you I'm like, at that time, I think I was 20. I'm, I'm 20. He's like, dude, that's a, you know, are you sure, man? He's like, that's a $42,000 car. 42.9, something like that, 42.5, something like that. And I said, dude, I made, you know, I yes, I made nine grand last month. <laughs> I made more than, I guarantee I made more than he did, by the way, which is funny thinking about it now. And he's like, okay. He's like, you, you, my, he's like, I'll, let me go talk to my manager. He went to talk to his manager. Appreciate you joining the show. And his manager told him, if, if we can see a pay stub for nine grand for last month, we'll sell him the car. So I'm like, okay, give me a computer. I go pull it up. We print it out. I give it to him. Jessica, appreciate you joining. And I showed him a pay stub for nine grand. Okay. And I ended up buying that car. And number one, I loved how the salesperson in that story, there's a couple of reasons I'm, I'm, I'm bringing the story up. The first one is I liked how the, the salesperson felt like he was on my side the whole time instead of his manager side or instead of his company side. There's something to that. When you, the consumer feels like you're in it for them, there's a whole other level of confidence and trust I'm paying. Okay, so that was, that was important. I bought the car. Someone told my parents I bought the car, and they're like, no, nah, Cody, you know, he, he's only 20. He wouldn't have bought a car without asking us, you know, but, but at least telling us about it or talking about it. He, he didn't buy a car, especially that car, right? And they're like, yeah, he did. So they called, and I'm like, yeah, I, I did. They're like, okay, well, you got to take it back. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm not taking the car back. I look like an idiot. And I said, here, I'll make you a deal instead. I said, I'll pay this car off in the next six months by the end of August. And if I don't pay it off in six months, I'll sell it and get rid of it. And I worked my butt off, cold calling, cold door knocking, doing whatever it takes. And I remember August of that year, I then went to Great Southern Bank here in Springfield, Missouri, and handed them a check for $35,000 cash to pay it off. You need stuff in your life. I'm not saying you gotta go buy a car, but you need stuff in your life that pulls you into the future, that motivates you. Okay? that motivates you hey Lauren that pulls you into the future and that motivates you in a certain specific way you need something that an event or something that's pulling you in the future or whatever else okay it, it is super hot in here uh well, why don't you will not you come on and uh oh, here I'm gonna I'm gonna have Lauren I gotta I have to go to the restroom okay so I'm gonna just run out it'll be all right you guys you guys you know everybody has to, to do that every once in a while so it's normal um i'm not gonna take a break i'm gonna have you jump in the seat and you're gonna tell them um how we met oh. okay most people never heard this story how we met and then she's gonna tell you how we met i'm gonna run the restaurant I'll be right back and when i get back i'm gonna tell you the three different ways to actually do phone sales all right so it's my wife lauren i told them earlier that the first time i met you clearly i, really I wasn't was... anticipating being on the camera today i'm in my workout you gear my good. hair you look my good. Hey, don't she look good don't she look good Hi, come everyone. on now come on now. All right. <laughs> wow this is embarrassing but um you'll do great we keep it real around here. There's only 800 people on. Okay? Appreciate you guys being on. I'll be right back.
And when I get back, I'm going to go over the three different ways to access over the phone. She's a natural. Okay, She's we got to get some air She's up in here. Holy cow. Okay, hi everyone. I am Cody's wife, Lauren. It's great to meet all of you virtually. Um, so it was Christmas Eve of 2010 when we met, and I was the manager at Cash at Victoria's Secret over the cash registers. And what was really weird about this year was um normally christmas eve sorry to all you men out there but you wait till the last minute to shop so victoria's secret is normally slammed but this year it was dead so i was like meandering amongst the stores trying to find things to do to keep busy and and walk cody and his dad little did i know i didn't know that he was cody at the time so um he walked in and i would ask him if they needed any help and cody's dad i refer to him as mr b now um he was getting last minute gifts for Brian, Patty's wife. I mean, you know, Brian, Patty, Brian's wife. And I, Cody was on crutches. Well, clearly Cody's very attractive. So I was helping them, whatever, chit chatting with Cody. They left, I wrapped all their stuff up and they went on their merry way. Well, the next thing I know, I hear this Missouri State because I wouldn't tell anyone my name at Victoria's Secret. That was just weird. like. I don't know, sometimes there's creepers. Anyway, so he said, hey, Missouri State, because that's where I went to college, and that's where he knew that. And I was like, what? And he's like, do you have a boyfriend? And I said, unfortunately, yes, because I was dating someone that I probably shouldn't have been dating. We should have just been friends, but you know, you live and you learn. So he said, well, I guess I'll be a gentleman and not ask for your phone number, and walked out the door. Thank um, I was like, okay, wow, I'm super intrigued. And um, so I get on Facebook. Well, no, I knew he played basketball back at Bible College. So I got on the BBC website. I found his picture, matched his picture to his basketball number, and then found his name. And then I went on Facebook and I found him. And I sent him a message that said, hey, BBC, it looks like Missouri State found you with a smiley face. And we started talking and became really good friends. Well, long story short, the boy I was dating with, the boy I was dating broke up with me to the girl he's now married to. And Cody and I have been married now for like almost seven years in September. So it's crazy. You never know when you're going to meet someone. But that's our little love story. And um, I hope you all are enjoying this webinar. Cody's back. All right. Um, th thank you, babe. Great give, to meet you all. Enjoy. A, Woo! Give her a webinar clap. Thank you for spending your Saturday morning with us. Give we her really a appreciate clap. you. Thank you, babe. Love you. Appreciate you. It is really hot here. It is hot. You gotta gotta get gotta get hot. Gotta get rolling. All right. I think I was going for like two minutes, three minutes tops. Thank you guys for uh, that mini break and insert that we didn't expect, but I think it was good. Uh, I know it was good because. I mean, one is my wife, so she and she's awesome. Um, and you get it. There's one learning lesson from what I just did. I didn't actually plan on doing it. I'm done drinking water because I'm someone that's to go to the restroom like 38 times a day. Uh, let's keep it real. Um, I didn't know I was going to be doing that, but you've got to think that. Let's use this as an example and as a training example. People buy from people that they end up having an emotional connection with. Okay, my buddy Ramiz, who's watching, would totally agree with that because of the way that they build rapport with their company. And think about the fact that I just helped us, you watching, and me right now create an emotional connection by actually bringing my wife in so that you could see her. Not only can you tell I'm a freaking sales rock star by how uh, beautiful she is, number one, but also you need to like share when you're on the phone there's something to that when you're on the phone you need to share when you're on the phone you need to you need to actually uh tell stuff about yourself you can't just ask and and take you got to give as well okay so if you think about that example of 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 of, of giving and creating an emotional connection and telling a story and and she didn't expect to come on i promise you um but you, the same thing can be needs to be done when you're selling over the phone You've got to share about your family. You've got to share about, like you can't just um, take all the time, you got to share as well. And, and, and emotional connections make the world go round. People connect with stories that they can relate to, right? A lot of you have spouses, you know? You guys don't have a spouse, right? What's wrong with me throwing her on camera for a few minutes, right? And so it, it's just, it's just, it's normal, it's natural. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I watch a lot of Car Car Grant Cardone stuff. He would have done the same um thing with his wife you know so why not right okay so so back to so hopefully you enjoyed that uh it's kind of funny uh, we would probably tell the story different ways she stalked me 
okay? I don't know what she told you, but but she was, that girl, that girl wanted her some Cody, okay? Uh, do you blame her, right? Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed that. She's awesome. So it, was, it gave me a little break, which was good. Um, so we went over the five things that you need when you're selling over the phone, okay? Uh, my, bu my, my buddies Grant and James and Vero would totally agree with that as well, right? So resources, training, leads and marketing, technology, and carriers. So make sure that you have all five of those boxes checked. If you don't, or if you're just curious, okay, not only are you waiving the fee to join today, for anyone that clicks on that link and goes to the Telesales Mastery Membership and joins it, but I'm also, if you purchase by, by the time I stop this webinar, which may be the next 20 minutes, I don't know, I'm gonna also include a free strategy call with me. I'm waiving it for the first 100 members and I'm including a free strategy call with me so make sure that you go and register and join that while we are on this today. I promise you, you won't regret it. I'm building the number one telesales training platform on planet Earth and it's only gonna to continue to get better. Okay, so, so that was, um, I told you a story about how I bought a Challenger. I also went over the five things that you need as a telesales agent, and you heard how Lauren on that. Okay, so now I want to jump into, now I want to jump into the three different ways to telesell. Okay, so what are the three different ways that you can actually make sales over the phone, right? And I'm gonna keep it fairly simple. This is generally about what I'm talking about, okay? And what I mean by this. Tony, thank you for joining, buddy. Um, that's my book, that's Tony G, bro. Um, three, three specific different ways to sell by phone, okay? Three different ways from a leads and marketing standpoint, okay? The first one is you can simply just, you can simply just make calls yourself, okay? You can simply just make calls yourself, whether it be through leads or cold calling, and leads could be buying leads, generating your own, getting them through strategic marketing so that you're getting them at cost, okay, whatever that may be, cold calls, right? You're simply just putting in the work, putting in the effort, using a dialer, hand dialer, whatever. You're going and making calls, okay? You're making calls. That's the first way, okay? The second way, the second way is to delegate, which if you were delegating, you could use what's called an opener. Okay, so that the opener could actually um, pre-qualify the leads. You could hire this, you know, outsource it, hire it, whatever. Not only they pre-qualify it, but they could actually live transfer you the call, or they could even book a phone appointment for you to call back. Now, a few years ago, I did sixty grand over the course of. Uh, four, five, six weeks, I don't, I don't remember the specifics. But with that, I had not only, not, not only was I able to jump into a call center and accept calls, but I had a opener that was able to book me appointments. So I was walking into some days, 20 appointments set up for the day, and at least half of them will no-show you because it's a phone appointment, but um, it works, you know? Okay, it just works, all right? Now the third one, Third one, third different way is to actually simply buy or join somewhere that can just send you live transfers. And you don't have to actually make the calls yourself. And you don't have to do anything. You can just buy or join somewhere that can literally just send you live transfers. Now, I'm not saying that any of those are the option you should do, okay? Because I know a ton of people that have success in various ways. I'm simply just giving you the different ways that you could make sales over the phone should you actually want to, okay? Vincent, thank you, buddy. Appreciate that, okay? Also, make sure, make sure, make sure you're tagging me on Instagram. Uh, follow me on Instagram, at Cody.Askins. I love social. I'm a big fan of personal branding and getting attention. Um, so please, please be make sure I'm going to choose a couple people to do that and do something special for you. Okay. So that's the three different ways that you can actually immediately go and make phone sales, right? No matter how that looks, that's the, that's the various ways that you can immediately go and make sales right away. 
right? So in that case, which way are you going to choose? What are you going to do? And how are you going to immediately go and start making some sales and making some money by selling over the phone? If anything, this webinar has grown in attendance and size the whole time we've been on it, which is amazing. Appreciate you guys being a part of this. I'm very grateful that you're choosing to spend your time. I don't think I said this earlier. I said thank you, but I didn't say that I'm honored and grateful that you're choosing to spend your Saturday with me. I don't do that lightly, and I'm grateful that you're choosing to do that. And I feel obligated, naturally, to deliver and to do everything I can to bring you success, you know, uh, Mr. Vallejo. Okay, so everything I can do to help you in general um, I want to do. Okay, so I want to move into, and a lot of places have different processes. Okay, a lot of places have different telesales, phone sales processes. Thank you, Julian. Okay, everybody's different. Everybody's different. However, I'm going to give you what my process is, and then we may have other these other partnerships and these other you know collaborations that I do and that I'm friends with. We may have those call centers actually put content in there as well on what their processes and scripts everything else are into the membership okay will thank you buddy all right so this is the this is my telesales process that i've always followed back, even back since 2015 when i first got in it the story i was telling you earlier okay the first thing is you got to be in control and there's specific videos related to all this in the membership first thing is you got to get control Control is vital because if you don't have control, then they do, and you must get control immediately in it, okay? Chris, thank you for the question. I'm gonna get you some questions here in a little bit as well, okay? Control, you're gonna have control. The second is to make it exclusive and or to qualify them in or out of what you're talking about qualify them in or qualify them out so within the first three minutes you know you know whether there's a chance to do a business together or not you don't want to waste an hour on someone that there's that there's literally no chance and and, and and you don't maybe you maybe you only sell if they have a bank account you know but they don't have a bank account right so you need to know that okay exclusive or qualify okay in or out next one is building rapport it's important to build rapport when you're on the phone because they do not know who you are where you're from nothing about you but this is a time this goes two ways by the way you're having them share by asking questions but you're sharing back everything that's related to building rapport and everything that you're telling them you got to be you need to be sharing back don't you forget to actually share along the way okay the next one right Start doing some fact finding. Similar to my face to face, but with some variances. Okay. I've always sold in this way pretty much from the first time I ever sold back in, you know, uh, 2011. Everything has always flowed in a similar fashion. Okay. So fact finding. All right. Next one building value and that value is in the benefits of the product and of the carrier and when you do this you're, you're using those benefits to build value and to actually trial close along the way i love trial closes or minor agreements as my buddy nate offered who's speaking at eight percent mentioned okay I love, and he was also, I also interviewed him. Okay, Joshua, well, thank you for joining, buddy. Uh, you, you, you have to build value by sharing those benefits, right? Say it, explain it, and ask a question about it for each benefit, and then trial close along the way. When I'm doing face-to-face -face sales, I was always having nine, nine trial closes throughout my pr value presentation process, okay? Next one is to present options, which I go over in the membership specifically on my favorite ways to do this. And I close, right? Present options in a specific way and then ask for the business, assuming that they're going to do it. Most people assume the assumptive portion. 
most people forget thank you fred most people forget that you need to assume every step of the way what's up Sahakis? everyone needs to assume every step of the way that they're going to be doing business with you right now that's one of my that's one of my minor but my sales tips i traveled and went to 16 different cities around the country last year for free life trainings and when i did those and i made that decision literally in a in, in an hour i made the decision to go do that we talked about decisions earlier and i actually chose the cities on a whiteboard in front of my team and said all right set it up we're going to do them they're like all these dude you're gonna be out on the road for a month and a half two months perfect done right you should make decisions that way because you make decisions that way it's easier to sell people and close people because you expect them to make decisions that way i don't ex i don't i don't i don't i don't expect you to think about joining the membership i expect you to join the membership right you get it okay present and close the next one that most people forget most people forget after the actual application process okay is cooling down okay i'm skipping the application process but you get the idea plus i'm running out of whiteboard space okay if anything it would be here right but that's kind of necessary to actually finalize the cell so that's feel like that's kind of assumed okay cool down most people my, my studio is cooling down well i want it to be hot again Okay, Lauren must have turned on the AC because it was it was it was 108 degrees in here, but I like it like that. Okay, so cool down. Because you gotta be, you gotta be. You, I'm telling you, you need to be in a hot box, sweating it out when your phone's selling. Most people think, dude, that is not the case. And some of you are at home right now, like, dude, I'm in my AC, I'm in my pajamas, I'm making calls, and I do not want to be hot. Okay, I, I perform better when I'm warm. Uh, that's just my, you know, that's how my body is. Everybody's different. Okay. My buddies, my, my insurance suit buddies would totally disagree with that, especially Mike. Uh, cool down. Most people forget about the cool down because the cool down, and the cool down is, is super important because think about, think about doing business with someone that you don't know, that doesn't know you, and you're giving them social security number, banking information, and choosing to spend money every month, kind of like this membership, right? Except I didn't ask for your social bank kind of information, but you get the idea. And they're choosing to do business with you every month for the rest of their life. Should you make the sell and run? I don't think so. Don't be afraid of losing the sell. Most salespeople are afraid, especially over the phone, you're afraid of, of losing the sell and then backing out and changing their mind. If it happens, I'd rather it happen while I'm on the phone with them than. A month or two later this is a time to continue to build rapport to continue to get to know them and continue to improve everything that you are doing with them they need to know that people that do business with they know they like and they trust they're just getting to know you hopefully by the by the end of this they like you and hopefully you can solidify the fact that they can trust you They don't trust you they're not going to keep the policy also you'll notice none of this even fact finding i don't ask price that's a personal decision some people choose you to ask about price i do not care when you sell on price you lose on price right and i don't want them thinking about budget and price the whole time i'm talking about something right I sell on me, I sell on value. Eric, thank you for joining the membership. I sell on me, the value, everything else. I do not sell on price. Price does not, I, I did it, what's funny is, that's hilarious. Most of you don't know this either. Another side note, I didn't plan on talking about this either, but I had a, I did a video a few years ago that said, price doesn't matter. And I had a big life insurance carrier shot me an email. And they said, hey, uh, we saw your video. I'm like, all right, that's good. That's good. That's good. I'm glad you're watching. And we got a ton of carriers that watch our stuff, by the way, now. And they said, uh, our compliance department wanted us to reach out to you because you're contracted with us. And we actually disagree with what you're saying. And price does matter. What they're paying matters. Um, and 
you can't sell stuff that they can't afford. You know, well, no crap, Sherlock, right? <laughs> they took the video out of context. And also, what's funny is the carrier that sent me the email that may be on this today, who knows? The carrier that's on this, Harry, thank you for joining. The carrier that's on, that, 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 that sent me that email is not even close to being the lowest priced carrier. So if price was really mattered and was if price was all that mattered, I wouldn't have sold that carrier to begin with. Ever. And I haven't since because of the way this went down. I'm not going to name who the carrier was, but I chose to never do this with him again. If you're watching, I'm sorry, but they took the video out of context. What I meant was price doesn't matter when it comes to building value in you and the product and service and doing business with you. They, they don't, I don't buy based on price. A trainer came to my house yesterday. I got another trainer coming to my house today to work me out this afternoon. And I had my, my masseuse came to my house last night. Okay. There's probably a masseuse or a trainer out there that's cheaper or that charge less. Just like whatever you're selling, there's probably a cheaper option for the prospect. If price was all that mattered, they would go buy that. It doesn't matter. And they took it out of context, but the reason I say that price is irrelevant is I don't want them thinking about price at all. I don't sell on price and I never have and I never will. If I sold on price, then I would always sell the cheapest option ever. But there's always gonna be a cheaper option out there. You get what I'm saying? And if that's the case, they're going to go find the cheaper option from somebody else. Or when someone else comes in and I haven't cooled down or built that relationship well enough, then the next option comes in, the next agent calls them, and they offer them a lower price. Will they stay with you or will they leave you over $3 a month? Ask yourself that question. What will they do over that $3? I've had tons of clients over the I used to send out newsletters to all my, all my clients. Um, as a new agent for years, I still get clients that come to my office and see my dad because he manages my book of business now. And they'll come in and, and they'll say, uh, man, Cody, you know, he has me come over and say hi to ex clients all the time. But they always say, man, I miss that newsletter you used to do. I haven't done that newsletter in like five, five, six years. But I did it and it created an emotional bond. I told stories on it. I introduced my family on it like I did today, right, et cetera. And by, by, by telling, by, by, by doing that, I was creating that bond that they would, and that what I'm getting at is they would call me and say, another agent can do this for $6 less per month, but we love you. We're not going to do it with him. Can you do what he's doing? If you can't, we're going to stay with you either way. That's the kind of emotional connection that you want to create with your clients so that it does not matter. It doesn't matter at all, ever. My, one of the things that, that, that motivates me on a daily basis now is my dad had a motto for me growing up. Before school, before practice, before a game, before a tournament, before I took out the trash, whatever, right? Didn't matter, anything I did. He just, he just said, he said it to me practically every day as a kid. And his motto for me was, Cody, and it can apply to everyone watching right now, okay? And I want you to remember this. Cody, never let anyone out-hustle you. I'm sitting here on a Saturday doing this for two hours. I was here 12, 13 hours every day of this week. I had tons of events and everything else going on. Helped my dad do a T65 Medicare webinar, like all kinds of stuff, right? And at 7.30, 8 o'clock, leaving at 7.30, 8 o'clock. Because I don't want anyone to out-hustle me. You know, I want, I want you to think about yourself right now. In, 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 in a decade, how will you be remembered? Will you leave a legacy on this industry? Or will you be forgettable? Or because you didn't hustle, will you pass people? There's some people that were way ahead of me that I feel like I've maybe passed because I'm out hustling them every day and every week. I could have been sick throwing up. I'd have still got on and did the webinar. Because successful people do what unsuccessful people are unwilling to do. 
Okay, so the process, control. You have to get control early on so that you can keep them, so that you can stay in control and make the sell later. Okay, exclusive and qualified. Qualify them in or qualify them out. Make it seem exclusive. They may not be able to get it. Take it away from them. And in the first three minutes, you'll know if they can or cannot get it. Build rapport. Most people don't build rapport. They try to sell it in eight minutes based on price, and people don't buy it, and they think that they, they can't sell over the phone, and it's impossible, and nobody's doing it, right? I know three call centers right now that I'm good friends with that are all going to do over, ten, you know, all going to do tens of millions this year because they build rapport well. Most people forget this piece. Do not forget this piece. It's more vital than you actually realize. Back find. Most people, it's called, most people forget to fact find. Most people don't ask the right questions. In this membership, we're going to show you what the right questions are. Okay? Again, anybody that joins today, I'm waiving the fee for the first 100 members, and I'm including, but as long as you join before the webinar is over, I'm going to include a free strategy call with me for anyone who joins. Okay? Back find. Back finding is important. Building value. You've got to be building value in the product, the carrier, in you. You've got to sell the benefits and the features. I, as a new agent, I used to ignore the fact that benefits and features were important. They're important because that's the stuff that people remember, and that's the stuff that they're going to be using, right? If the coverage changes or the price goes up, or they don't have any cash value, or there's not double an accident, or you're not going to help them as an agent, or all these other factors and features, right? Maybe there's not living benefits if that's what you're selling. If you sell the benefits and the next person doesn't, who are they going to do business with? Okay, so build value. Present and close. You have to present the options in a specific way, so many options in a specific way that's systematic, that's duplicatable, that you can do every single time on the phone, and that you can actually assume they're going to do business with you, ask a specific way, and then immediately move into the application process. There's a way, and it ain't rocket science, okay? Move into the app process. Don't, also with application stuff, don't preface, I assume this is, self-explanatory, but it may not be. Don't preface and say, well, now, I'm about to ask you for your social, and you may not want to get it, give it to me, but I really need it, you know, so what's your social security number? Do not say that. If you, t like, people, people want to do what other people are doing. People move away, people move closer to stuff and move away from them, and people want to do what other people do. If you think about it, most, a lot of direct mail final expense postcards will say thousands of seniors nationwide right, have taken advantage of this program, right? They may want to do it because thousands of others have done it, okay? Thank you, everybody that's tagging me in on my story and everything else, okay? I appreciate that. Harry, thank you for joining, okay? Think about that for a second. Think about the fact that people want to do what other people are doing. So are other people doing business with you? And are you sharing how the fact that a lot of people are doing business with you? Or is nobody doing business with you? And you're available whenever they want to talk to you, and then nobody wants to do business with you because nobody else does business with you either. Okay, so so what does that look like? All right, so present the benefits. Okay, also Lauren, we may want to close this door over here. Okay, I can hear you. Present the benefits, present everything, and then close the business and assume they're going to do business with you today. Okay, be extremely assumptive in the close. Let's talk about closing for a second. All right, I can talk about closing for days. This is valuable. What I'm about to share with you may be the most valuable portion that I've shared so far. Okay. Closing. I'm going to share with you some different closing ideas that some of you may or may not know. And I'm not saying that I would do everything I'm going to share with you on a specific insurance sales call, but I'm going to just talk you through it so you can get an idea of what I'm referring to. Okay. And that is... Think about the fact that when people say they want to, I was training, okay, for example, I'll talk through uh, some word tracks, okay, so you can get some specific examples. I was training my sales team um, Monday afternoon, we were talking about closing, and they were saying, hey, Cody, people were telling us they want to think about it, they want us to call them back, or they want us to email them information. 
And what's funny is we the rest of the week was amazing, probably because of this training with them. And I said, well, when people say that they want it, you they want you to email it over, just tell them. Absolutely. I'm happy to do with you know whatever you want. But tell me this, but before I send that over, uh, on a scale of one to ten, one being I hate everything, you hate everything I'm saying, and ten being you love it and you're gonna do it right now, where do you where do you sit? Let's what was on a scale of one to ten. They said, Well, I don't know. Huh. Humor me. If you had to pick a number, what would you say? Uh by the way, this is some good sales verbiage. Um a seven. Because it's a popular number that you'll get told because it's not insulting, but it's not sell me right now. Okay. I, what I've learned is a one through a four, total waste of time. Five, six, and seven. I'm close. I got a chance. Eight, nine, and ten. They are ready to buy right now, and you should move forward into actually soon. They're going to do business with you immediately. Okay. A seven. All right. Okay. Good, man. Thank you for sharing that. I appreciate the honesty. You know, t tell me this. What, what, what can we? What can you do? Or what can I do to get you up to a eight or a nine? You know, we're, we're almost there. What, what, what would it take? Be honest with me. Well, I don't know, man. I, I just um. What's what's stopping you there? What's holding you back? Uh, just want to make sure it's you know that, that it's the right decision. I'm looking at another vendor. Okay, good, good. As you should. And then compare what they're doing to what you're doing, and then get the dude to do business with you. Okay, I did a podcast yesterday. Um, with Joe from Impact Heroes, and he had me role play with him. He had me role play with him live on camera about a specific sell situation because he was having trouble. This guy sells social media marketing. He was having trouble people getting people to say yes and to do business with him right then. So I walked him through in a live role play on that podcast what I would do if I was him to get someone to pull the trigger immediately. Number one, I always assume that everyone is going to do business with me. Always. As you should. I always assume everyone's going to do business with me. And yes, I see all the questions. I promise I'll get to them. Okay. Always assume. And again, appreciate everybody that's joined the membership. We have a ton of people join. Um, I am going to do a free strategy call with anyone that joins before the webinar ends today. And I'm telling you that membership is going to be the number one sales training platform for telesales in the industry. Okay. Assumptive. I'm assuming everyone's going to do business with me at all times, and you should too. When you're talking with prospects, you should always assume this specifically. Okay, so be assumptive. All right, outside of being assumptive, okay, you've got to be. You can't. You can't be a hammer. Some people have a personality that they are just a hammer all the time. Right, and prospects don't always respond well to a hammer. Sometimes they need someone that is respectful, soft-spoken, asks some questions, and that helps them along to doing business with them right then. Okay, some people need that. So don't be a hammer all the time. Realize that not everyone wants you to be a hammer all the time. Right? So 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 just don't be one. Okay. So be more assumptive and be, and, and go over the fact that you want to help them. Okay, so here's what, here's why we're doing a lot of this stuff. I got a few more things I want to cover. Okay, so bear with me. Okay, we have a Telesales Mastery membership that I just released. We actually had people join yesterday before this even started. And for the first 100 members, I'm waiving the $300 joining fee. Okay. Also, also, and for anyone that joins during this, I'm adding a free strategy call with me, a free quick call. So that I can answer your questions specifically, have those questions ready before we get on to do that strategy call. Okay, most people that, that are on this have, have joined the membership, so thank you. Okay, and I'm going to make sure that we go over whatever questions you have specifically, so that when we spend time together, it makes sense, you get value, and then immediately you have something tangible to take away. And I'm telling you, 
I'm certain when we spend a, when we spend a few minutes together, it will bring value to your life. I'm confident and certain in that. Okay. So we have the link in chat. This is a membership that we're going to go to training.codyaskins.com. It's called Telesales Mastery Membership. This is something that I'm focused on helping insurance agents succeed. We're going to cover everything from resources, training, leads and marketing, technology, and carriers. And I'm going to get collaboration from the rest of the industry to make this the number one sales training platform on planet Earth for insurance phone sales. I'm confident in that. I'm going to make that a reality, and I'm going to do it for you because right now is the best time for me to give back to this industry. People, agents need help. I'm getting absolutely blown up nonstop from insurance agents every day, and I love it because it's like it, it feeds my energy. I just enjoy it. Okay, so I love their messages. I love the Instagram messages. I love the Instagram videos. I get a lot of that every single day, and I love it. And I love the emails that I get at Cody at CodyAskins.com. Absolutely love it. But what happens is I get all these questions and I'm getting sometimes 50 a day from agents saying, I don't know what to do. My company doesn't do phone sales or my company does do phone sales or I'm struggling with phone sales or I need to make money or I'm going to quit. And that's one of the things that, that bothers me the most, but also makes me the happiest is when someone says, I was, I, I thought about quitting and then I found your content and I'm not going to quit because I believe, I believe you cannot fail if you do not quit. And I don't want you to quit. I want you to have success. I want you to make a hundred grand plus in 2020 selling over the phone. And I want you to look back and say that free webinar changed my life i want that to be true for you i really really do and i'm doing everything in my power to make sure that it is okay so we had a ton of people that have joined and i'm going to make sure that i go through um a lot of the names if i can uh let me see if i can do that i'm also about to get to some questions specifically as well okay so i'm going to make sure that i go through well that doesn't have names on it um Let's see if I can go through. We've had about, I think we've had over a hundred join the membership already, for sure, for sure, just based on the number of emails that are in there of, of people joining. Okay, so thank you for that. Um, I'll see if I can't highlight a few of the names, and then I'm also going to get in some questions. So if you have questions, get them in the chat, okay? Because I want to make sure that I go over them. Um, Kevin, Sharon, Larry. Regine, Richard, Michael, John, Kevin, John, Cecilia, Jonathan, Jimmy, Shane, Nicholas, Jason, Travis, Kevin, Ayesha, uh, Bikenya, Gregory, Beatrice, Ali, Melanie, Kim, Marlon, Mike, uh, we just had another one, uh, Chris, um, Jason, Adrian, Anthony, Beatrice, uh, Timothy, Stephen, Tim, John, Jonathan, Warren, Jamie, Jay, Joyce, Shannon, Garen, Alma, Tony, Tony spelled differently, um, Andreas, someone from the UK, thank you so much, that's awesome, uh, Stephanie, Terry, that's one of the things that's unique and fun now is we got a lot of it, we got a lot of people that follow us from all over the world. And I absolutely love seeing people succeed. You know, Teresa, um, F the F Thymio, something like that. I apologize if I, if I hopefully I did it right. Michael, John, Mark, Jessica, Michael, Marcus, Jacob, Jake, Vincent, Jerome, Marlo, Joshua, Corey, Paul, Josh. Jane, Evelyn, Chad, Gabriel, Sarah, Corey, Craig, Anthony, um, I'll go George. I'll go back to some of those names in a little bit. I apologize. I wanted to get through them all. Uh, okay, so we had several questions. I'm going to jump into some of these. Um, uh, Jorge, good morning, Cody. What's up, buddy? Uh, yo, 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 Sahakis. Tony says, uh, thanks for doing this. You got it. 
Uh, buenos dias, everybody. Greetings from California. Omar, thank you. Uh, Michael in Ohio. What's up, sir? Cody, you the man. Dude, I, I like I like people putting in not only the name, uh, I like seeing the name, but I like to see where you're from because I think that's awesome. Because we had uh, Simon from from London on um, and joined the membership as well uh, earlier. Okay. Um, where's the link? Where's the link? Um, that's a good question. I'll make sure that I put it in there for those that. Um, Try to make sure that I put that in there, um, and because we got a few more minutes to join, because as soon as I end this, um, not only is the is the uh, waiving the fee going to go away, uh, also the free strategy call is going to go away too. Uh, where's the link? Where's the link? Got it. Got it. Um, thank you, Mike, Cat Daddy. Uh, is there going to be a replay? Um, yes. Okay. So if you didn't get all the notes, um, we're going to. It is being recorded. I'm not sure how we're gonna get out to everybody, but we'll figure it out. Uh, where do I go to sign up? Where, where you the man? Uh, is there a coupon code? Good morning. Thanks for thanks for asking. Okay. Um, I've never done telesales, but this is amazing. I'm excited. Thank you. Is, um, successful on face to face. Good, Brian. Thank you for, for being on this. Thank you for, for your. Uh, there's Simon listening in from England, dude. I love that, bro. That's amazing. Um, I'm unable to hear anything. I'll reach out on Monday for recording. Um, I wish I could hear. Um, not sure what's going on there, but I know everybody else can, so I apologize, buddy. Um, why is the video frozen? Could be internet. Um, need more people like you, Cody. Thanks for all you do. Love everything. Um, strong family. What's up, bro? Uh, thanks. Good morning, Cody. Thanks for training. Thanks for doing this. You rock. You demand. I'm a fairly new MedSup retired 69-year-old investment advisor. That's awesome. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, zero chance. Um, good, man. That's awesome uh, that you that. I do. I think you'll succeed, man. Um, where do we find the link? Um, Apex Nation is definitely going to happen in, in in Vegas in July. So I appreciate all the uh, positivity towards that. That's definitely going to happen. Um, what's the training called again? Uh, it's actually called the Telesales Mastery Membership. Okay. Um, everyone records and listening in. Yes. Where's the link? It's, it's ninety. It's. Yep. That's right. Um, is this workable for mortgage protection sales as well? Absolutely. Uh, totally. We're going to end up having some. We're going to do monthly group calls on this, and I'm going to get some people. I know some people that are doing more protection phone sales. I'm going to make sure that they get that we share content related to that as well. Mortgage protection phone sales, final expense phone sales, Medicare phone sales, health insurance, um, you know, whatever. Okay, whatever you're doing, I'm going to make sure that we put it in there. Um, thank you. Thank you. Yes, it is a different module. Um, <laughs> modest goal from Steve. I like goals, man. Put, put in some goals. Ten per month. Um, for virtual phone sales, that's great. Uh, you mentioned waiving the fee. I don't see that on the site. Yep, yep. It's not included. Uh, what about Perkins? Church is good. Good. Consider it. Consistency. Commitment. I love it. That was some good guesses, by the way. Thank you. Thank you, Mike and Steve. That's good. Uh, this is a different one. Um, this is not Mastering Insurance Telesales. Mastering Insurance Telesales is an old course from several years ago. This is a new Telesales Mastery membership. I'm waving three and a half feed for anybody that gets in. Okay, number one. And I'm also doing a free strategy. The special bonus, okay, is I'm waving the fee. I'm also including a free strategy call with me for anybody that joins during this webinar. Okay, I'm not doing it afterwards because I'm already going to do hundreds. I'm already going to have to do hundreds of free strategy calls. Um, I'm going to try to get them all done in April. I may have to push some in May. I apologize if so. Um, uh, good, good, good. Yeah, facts tell, story sell, man. Um, thank you, Tom. Thank you, Neil. Uh, appreciate everybody joining. Um, Good, 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 good. Must, must, uh, dude, you must buy the fact, man. Um, my gift. I love helping people need to get better at getting them to take action. Dude, that's it, man. That's a, that is a gift of mine when it comes to selling insurance is getting people to take action right away. Uh, what was your persistency with those sales? I would say it was, uh, I would say back then I was, was not as talented as I am now. I would say back then I was probably 70 to 80%. If I had to be, if I had to give a conservative guess, again, it's been a long time ago. Um, I buy quickly and close quickly. Why late? Why wait? Dude, that's it, man. I'm telling you, there's something to that. I believe that to be true. Um, 
love this piece like like those that give referrals can ask and gather referrals that's, that's so true ali what's up bro uh i'm confident that you guys can and will be successful um appreciate everybody that's joining this right now too nick they i got your text um Lori, i see you thank you um abid thank you buddy uh, for getting in on this thank you so much um I'm a member now, insurance waiver nation means, thanks for the free coach, 8% nation, 92% um, of insurance agents fell in their first three years. It's super high, 92% fell, but there's more millionaires in this industry than any other industry on planet earth. Also, we do a conference called 8% nation. It's at the end of July, almost August, in Vegas at the Palms in, it's not for like four months now, right? So. Um, that is going to happen. This will all be over by then. Grab a ticket to that right now. You can get BOGO tickets, I believe. Uh, if you use the code, coupon code VIP BOGO, I believe, and Premier BOGO, you can get two VIPs for like $290. Uh, it's a steal. Um, it's definitely going to happen. We're going to have a ton of people there. It's going to be a blast. Absolutely love events and conferences. I spend, I personally spend over 100 grand a year on coaches and events and personal development because I believe in being successful, okay? If you won't spend money on yourself, you will never succeed, end of story, all right? I'm beyond sold on that reality because it's true, okay? Most people don't realize that not only do I always invest and go to the, of these other events, I spent 25 grand to be a part of a, I, I, pay, I pay a coach 30 grand a year, okay? I have a YouTube coach. I also had, was part of a $50,000 mastermind at Cardone's, um, with about a dozen other people that was unbelievable. I want to succeed. I have a high drive. I have a high focus on being successful and I want to do everything in my power to be successful, which is why I'm going to do whatever it takes. You do, you do you, but I am going to do whatever it takes. That, that's what I can, that's what I can promise you. No matter what, I will do whatever it takes at all times. Okay. I'm a member now. Thanks for free, free, free uh, strategy call. I'm a horrible, in fact, in fact, a closer to, uh, dude, I'm going to fix that, man. Um, that's good, man. Thank you for that. Um, that's good, Daniel. I love it. Um, attitude. That's it. Uh, great. Thank you, John. Accountability is big, man. Accountability is big. Pure gold, pure gold. Thank you, Paula. Uh, that's the, I mean, that's the, that's the goal from all this, right, is I gave away I give away a lot of free stuff that I would normally charge for, you know, and I do it because I want to see people be successful right now and making money right now. Um, and you got to be resourceful. That's you got to be resourceful. Um, leads are big. Tonalities, tonality is bigger than people think. Vanessa, thank you for joining. Um, tonality is bigger than people think. You got to realize you can't always. You got to slow it down every once in a while. You start building rapport, slow down, get to know them. Tonality is important. Ask, listen, do not interrupt. If you struggle to listen, you're going to have problems. And then share back with them. Okay, you got to do that. Um, oh, good headset. I, I, I like the, uh, I like, I like anything Logitech related. Our sales team uses Alienware headsets now. They're, they're really good. Um, I'm going to try to get, see if we can get a discount for a headset in the membership. Um, Dude, and, and I gave you specific metrics. Like, like the the one of the unique things that most people will maybe didn't even write down or didn't even take away from this was trying to have eight good conversations a day that last more than three minutes. Uh, you do that, and you're gonna make six figures selling over the phone, right? Most people don't. Most people have one conversation a day. To have eight is a whole other level. And when you do that, you're going to have success. End of story, right? I, I gave away the specific metrics that so that you know what to do like i just took away a ton of guesswork uh immediately by literally giving you exactly what you need to know like that's so valuable um leads are important um thank you adrian for being a part of it um i made sure we put the link in there yeah i i, I have a special link thank you vanessa for joining i have a special link for um special discounted link for radius that we can put in there where you can get radius for only 19 dollars a month now um, Andy Brett, make sure we put that in this. Um, it's crazy. 
there are a bunch of people from my agency and my team watching. Thank you, Neil. Appreciate you, sir. Thank you so much, buddy. That's great. Um, build it, baby. Build it strong. Um, that's good, man. We're, we're getting everything. And, and for, for, for those that see everything, this, again, we're pre-selling this, so we're going to get everything in as fast as we can. Um, yeah, you got to make sure they allow telesales and tell apps in your state. That's important. Um, bad car buy <laughs> with the Challenger. That's good, Mike. Uh, oh, you thought I was going to tell the Maserati story. Mike's, uh, Mike's like an uncle to me. He's a good, good, good friend of the family. My dad's best friend, probably. Uh, I didn't tell the Maserati story yet. I'm going to say that for next, next Saturday or whenever else we do this. Uh, oh, look at Akeem jumping in there. Uh, Jonathan, motivation's always important, man. Tony G, appreciate you, buddy. Um, how long is... <laughs> That's good, man. That's good, dude. She's, 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 she's awesome. She's awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, that's, that's hilarious. It's not actually 38 times a day, but you get the idea. Uh, I don't know that everybody sees the, the uh, questions per se. Um, <laughs> John, do you like that? Uh, it's all about, you know, it's all about doing whatever it takes, going above and beyond, um, committing to helping people. Um, we do actually supply live transfers through Secure Agent Marketing. We partner with Northstar to do that. Um, that's good. Um, I'm helping people do webinars online now as well, virtual seminars. Yes, thank you for providing your whole team, Melissa. That's wonderful. Um, normally, 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 uh, 30, 40 bucks a piece for live transfers. But even if you convert one in eight, you know, one in five to one in eight, that's still worth it. You're gonna make a return on investment. That's what you gotta realize. Like most of call centers are averaging 200 bucks for a cost of acquisition. Just, you can get close to that, you're doing wonderful, you know? Um, there's not, Josh. Um, is, is tell sales a long-term strategy? I think it is, man. I think there's a lot of people that are, you know, you, when this is all over, you may go back to face-to-face -to -face sales, but there's people that are killing it with phone sales. Um, Ken, I ask for their personal information. Great question, by the way. I ask for their personal information simply by asking. Perfect. And what's your social? I don't, I don't make it complicated. I just ask and I keep it really simple. Um, I'm getting a ton of, uh, gotta love compliance, Patrick. <laughs> it wasn't the carrier. Uh, that, that, that was not one of the carriers. Um, Nate's on here. I love it. A bit. Thank you for joining. Um, Sylvia, Greg, Chad. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get through all these comments and questions. I apologize if I don't. I'm trying. I'm clicking through them as fast as I can. Um, and I don't know that everyone can see the chat, but I see it. My team sees it. Paula, thank you for joining again. We're waiving the fee for the first 100 members, and you get a free strategy call if you join the member Telesales Mastery membership before I end this webinar. Okay, so make sure that you do that. Um, Jeremy, thank you, buddy. You're a good dude, man. A lot of amazing people with a lot of nice things to say. Thank you. I love doing this. Um, that's good. Uh, pump and iron, baby. Um, the old Master Answers Telesales is, is going to have a lot less content. It's an old old program from like three years ago. Um, I love it. I love it. No, nothing better than, than jumping in on Success Saturday, right? I mean, there's literally nothing better than jumping in and helping people on Success Saturday. Uh, I want to see you succeed, all right? Um, most of you have actually stayed for the entire webinar, which is amazing, unbelievable. And that shows your drive and commitment to success. That's what it shows. That shows that you want to succeed. Okay, any, um, you are the GOAT, Cody, appreciate that. Uh, your team's on here, thank you. Um, are you doing a BOGO for Vegas? I am, yes, use VIP. And if you and if you try a BOGO code or you're trying to buy tickets for your Nation conference and you can't get them, email me, Cody, Cody Askins. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna have a private deal for you. If you email me, Cody, Cody Askins, saying I want 8% tickets, hook a, hook a brother, a sister up, I'm gonna hook you up. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna make it possible. Okay. Um, I like a Mac, man. I, I'm the the the, the computer. I'm, you can that the computer there is a iMac. This is a MacBook Air. I've got another iMac at my desk. Another one in my sales room. We got iMacs all over the place. I mean, most of my team has iMacs now. Um, 
strategy call could vary. Some people it's, you know, uh, three minutes, some people it's 15 minutes, some people it's 20 minutes, some people it's 10, you know, it depends on the questions you have and, and I, I won't have long, I promise you that. I, I gotta be fair to everybody else that, that did it. Um, after about sales and how many leads would it take to get there, just an average agent? Um, I would say, typically, um, you're gonna need, if you're just buying leads, you're gonna need, I would say you're gonna need 100 leads a week, you know? Um, at least 50 to 100, you know? Uh, John, thank you for joining this. I'm gonna make time for you guys. Appreciate you being a part of this. Appreciate you committing to do this. Um, this training is gonna continue till this training is gonna continue to last to be there. Um, and I thank you for the actual personal email. That really means a lot. Um, you're gonna make me tear up. Thank you for telling that. Thank you for telling me that. Josh, thank you for joining. Um, Okay, jeez, uh, the questions are going for days. You guys are amazing. Appreciate you guys being a part of this. Um, thank you for, so Anthony, thank you. Um, I'm in Missouri. I'm in Springfield, Missouri, the big city uh, here in Missouri. Uh, we've been officially going for two hours, okay? Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a five minute warning that, I'm gonna put five minutes on my phone, okay? I'm gonna put five minutes on my phone. When this five minutes ends, the, um, uh, the, the wave in the fee is going away, especially if we got to 100 members, which I believe we did. And the free strategy call with me is going to go away forever, okay? In five minutes, I'm ending the webinar, all right? I can add lib for five minutes, that's not a problem. When you've done 2,000 videos, it's easy to jump on and do a video. Um, so make sure that you click the link and that you go and you join um, and that you join the Telesales Mastery membership right away, okay? If you don't do it for you, do it for me, all right? Because I wanna see you be successful. We're gonna build out this membership. We're gonna have a ton of stuff in it. Over the next 30 days, we're gonna add more stuff to it than you can keep up with, all right? That's my promise to you, okay? So again, we've, we've had about 800 agents, maybe more now, um, register for this. A lot of people shared this with friends and family and, and, and teams, and um, that's unbelievable. Um, wow, we've got, almost, we've got almost a thousand agents now that actually took time to register for this. Unbelievable, okay? Uh, a lot of people actually sent this out, apparently, to friends and family and everyone else after this, okay? So thank you for doing that. Um, from Nate, my question is, who makes your eggs in the morning when I'm not there? My good buddy Nate Offer. Yeah, dude. Uh, Lauren, lately, um, do you recommend telesales and long-term strategy with advantages above and beyond in-person appointments, or is there a great process for the current situation? Yes, you can make six sales over the phone, okay? I got friends that are selling mortgage protection over the phone right now. And they're doing 10, 15 grand a week, every single week, and they're selling mortgage protection over the phone, all right? I'm committing to helping you succeed in any way I can. Three minutes left to join, okay, uh, before this ends to where you can't join anymore. And I'm still giving the free strategy call. Dapo, thank you. Um, Peter, thank you. Nada, thank you. Um, Myra, thank you, all right? Three minutes, two, three, two and a half minutes. Click the link, go register. As long as you click the link before this webinar ends and you're trying to check out and, and get the uh, Telesales Mastery, Paul, thank you, and you're trying to get the Telesales Mastery membership, I'm still gonna free, include the free strategy call with me. This is a monthly membership that we are going to bury you in information to help you succeed in a good way, uh, with information to help you succeed. All right, I know that for me, Back when, we've had several continue to join. Thank you, Karen, thank you, thank you. Um, I know for me, back when I first started um, in insurance, it was, it was important that I learned along the way. So I downloaded Brian Tracy's, for all that are wondering, I, I've downloaded Brian Tracy's, The Art of Closing the Cell, and I listened to that nonstop, nonstop, <laughs> every single day because I wanted to succeed and I wanted to be better. Um, I'm gonna share with you, I may be able to share with you my screen real quick to walk you through this, okay? 
Um, let me see if I can do that. Um, all right, so I'm showing my screen now. Um, so you can see my screen. Um, it's, it's, here's the link, okay, training.codyaskins. You can go to training.codyaskins and live training.codyaskins.com. Literally click on Telesales Mastery membership. You can subscribe for 97 bucks a month. Um, you're going to get a lot of additional things, not only videos, monthly coaching calls, training materials, resources, scripts, audio recordings of actual live telesales. I forgot to include that. Um, discounted lead options, discounted marketing options, discounted live transfer options, carriers, dialers, CRMs. I mean, and a lot, a lot of stuff I said today isn't even in there yet, and we haven't even talked about it yet, but I want to make sure we do those things as well, okay? So, I'm, and literally, again, act now. We're waiving the one-time $297 fee for the first 100 members because I want to encourage you to get in there, okay? So, I, I, I'm, I've uh, stopped sharing my screen, but I want to share that with you for a quick second because I wanted, I want you to be successful and I want to be the person that is here and that's able to help you, okay? So please take a second, please click this link and please go and register for that. Um, Derek says from Harold, can Cody repeat his rebuttal to the Melmi info? He used a scale of one to 10, but I didn't catch the whole approach. Um, yes, okay, as soon as this ends, I'll still do that. Um, all right, all right, all right. Timer. Okay, better go quick because I'm literally about to turn this thing off. Okay, Mike just barely snuck in. Um, as soon as I stop this, okay, can't get the, can't join anymore without the fee, and you can't get the free strategy call with me. Okay. Also, if you have questions, please feel free to email me, Cody Cody Askins. I want to help you. Right. My process, man. Of uh, I like for example, someone's like you know, put, mail me something, stick something in the mail. You know, I'm happy to do that. Absolutely, that sounds great. And even if you don't want to use the one to 10, you could say, you know, what's, help me out. Humor me real quick, Betty. Um, Betty, what's holding you back from making a decision today? You know, well, I don't know. Well, if you had to pick something that's like keeping you in the way and, and holding you back, what would you say? Right? This is gold right here. The fact that this is free is insane. Um, well, I, I don't know. I, I uh, probably just, the, probably just, want to make sure I'm making the right decision, you know, and that I'm choosing the right option. So you want to do it and you're going to do it at some point in the future. Yeah, I will. Okay, good. Well, I've actually shopped all the options. This is the best one. And if you knew that to be true, that you could see my screen, that I've actually shopped all the options and this was the best one for you, you'd probably feel more comfortable moving forward, wouldn't you? Yeah, I probably would. Okay, good. Excellent. Well, I've done the legwork. The big thing is, let's see if we can get you approved. Okay, because if you can't get approved, then you can't qualify. So if you can't qualify, you can't have it. A lot of people wish they could have it, but they can't. Again, take it away. Um, so let me ask you a couple. Let me ask you a couple questions. Let's see if you can qualify. Because obviously, if you could qualify, you would like to end up owning this, right? Yeah, I would. Okay, perfect. So let me ask you a few questions. Let's see if you can qualify. Right? That is absolute flipping gold when it comes to getting someone over the hump when they're thinking about when they're thinking about stuff. I don't believe in people thinking about stuff, man. I believe in people making decisions right now. You know, if you're ever thinking about joining the membership, obviously now is the best time. Okay. Um, Bryce says, good stuff. Thank you, buddy. Um, we need the scripts. Dude, you need them, man. You need them. Um, love the energy. Let's go, Zach. Thank you, bro. Um, yes. Okay. So I'm going to add a, the bonus was the free strategy call. But I'm also going to do, add a, another special bonus, like I promised, okay? And you're on at the end, so you get it, okay? There's still several hundred on. I'm going to make it possible for you and your friends to come to April's Nation in Vegas in the end of July. And you could say, well, what if, what if, I mean, if we have to postpone it a month or two, we will. But that's not the plan, okay? It's happening, though. One way or another, it's happening. So, you know, you can rest assured if you buy a ticket, dude, it's happening. You can come, okay? Um, email me, Cody, CodyAskins.com. And I'm going to give you a ridiculous deal to get a ticket to the conference. And even if you've already bought a ticket, email me and I'll make sure it's possible for you as well that you wouldn't normally get if you just went straight to the website. And when I say a ridiculous deal, I mean it. I can't say what it is because I can't have this on video, but trust me. Okay. Um, love what you do. Can't wait to connect again in Vegas. If not sooner, keep crushing it. Tony, you're, you're, I love you, buddy. Um, what's the best hour to call leads? Um, I mean, I used to cold call from nine. When I first started my call, I used to cold call from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. 
Um, I'm almost through the questions. So I'm done with the questions. I'm done. Um, okay, I've loved doing this. I've went over two hours. I'm going to lose my voice pretty soon. Jacqueline, thanks for joining. Um, Naomi, thanks for joining. Get in there. If you want the free strategy call with me, get in there. Okay. Um, I would say also, I mean, evenings and weekends are phenomenal. Um, okay. Uh, Bill, yes, Cody at CodyAskins.com. Um, oh, Steve Hansen, dude, you had a chance to co author a book with Brian Tracy. How awesome is that? That's killer. Um, Melissa barely got it. All right, thank you so much. Okay, I'm about to move on from this. All right, um, Peter wants to go to Vegas. Email me, Cody Cody Askins. I will make sure that you can give it good to be there. Okay, I promise. I want you to be there. I'm gonna make it possible for you to be there because I just simply want to spend time with you. Um, kind of thank you for that. Um, Okay, I'm a, a matter of seconds from shutting this thing down. Get over to that link and join right away. Okay, um, do not miss this. Do not miss this. That's all I got to say. Uh, not only am I doing a free strategy call with me, which is devaluing my time. Um, Don, thank you, buddy. Um, please email me if you want to be an 8%. Michael, I got your email. Thank you, buddy. Um, Lynn, five pages of notes from a free webinar. Can't wait until I actually get into a paid course. Nicholas, dude, how good is that, Nick? Hey, you get out of it what you want to get out of it, you know? We talked about attitude earlier, the three A's. If you want to get something, if you want to get out of something with a high attitude, you will. Uh, if, if it's all up your attitude, but you know. Don, thank you, buddy. Uh, or or, or ma'am, either way. Uh, I think that is a ma'am. That's my fault. Um, oh, yes, I know who this Don is. That's cool. Thank you so much. Good to hear from you. Uh, all the way from Hawaii. That's awesome. Um, all right. Okay. Uh, Kevin just snuck in. Um, get in there. All right. Now's your chance to click on the link, register. Appreciate all the everybody that's been a part of this and that's joined. It's my mission to help you succeed. I am committed right now to making this the number one telesales training platform on planet Earth. Brian, thanks for sneaking in. Okay. Also, for the special. That was the special extra, the free strategy call with me. You do that right now. Also, for those who want to be part of 8% Nation and be at the event and be at the conference, email me, Cody at CodyAskins.com. I'm going to give you an extreme deal so that you can bring you and some friends or even a team so that no matter what, you can be there, right? This is going to blow over. This little temporary time that we're going through this crisis is not going to last forever, okay? So... We're booking flights right now for a lot of stuff, right? I'm not, I'm not sitting around. This isn't going to last forever, right? I'm, I'm choosing to be successful while this is going on. Yeah, I'm being considerate, and I'm bringing value and helping people in the best way I know how, but that don't mean I'm just going to sit around and do nothing, okay? Um, Warren, 66-year-old with 45 years in the business. We started the same age, uh, or similar age. I'm getting pumped on your education. You're the man all the way from Michigan. Thank you, Warren. You're the man, buddy. That's awesome. Um, Wow, my wife was laid off. I'm burning the ships, and I've got to meet my goals, um, and I got to succeed. I'm confident you will, buddy. Um, we're gonna get Mike. We're gonna get all the information, additional information into the course again. This we're just releasing it. We haven't even got everything in it yet. It's gonna blow up with tons of info. Okay, um, you guys are amazing. Again, one, one more time, really quick. Um, Tony, three pages of notes. Thanks for that. You got it, buddy. Um, you're a good dude, man. I love I love good people. Jeremy, Jeremy, thank you for messaging me. Please tag me. Shoot a picture real quick if you need to before this ends. If you don't get a chance to post it on social, please tag me on Facebook. Please add me on Instagram at Cody.Askins. Please share this to your Instagram story. I'll try to get a recording out. Um, I may lose my voice this weekend. We've been going for two hours and 15 minutes now. Um, but I love you guys. And I love doing this. Um, get in there, all right? Join the course, get a free strategy call with me. Also, the membership, also email me for a chance for me to hook you and your team and friends up with an unbelievable deal on 8% tickets, all right? Trust me, I'm here to help. Also, if you would like for me to help your team and you'd like for me to spend time with your team and consult your team and get your team to another level, which I know I can do, email me, Cody at CodyAskins.com. I wanna spend some time with you and your team. I can jump on Zoom with your team. I'll do a free strategy call with you and your team. Um, I'm committing to giving back. I'm putting all I'm putting all of my eggs on you guys, right? I'm 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 committing to put all my eggs in one basket. I'm 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 and I'm deciding to be successful. I'm deciding to help people. 
and I hope you'll do the same. All right, I'm gonna call out some names, people that are still in this. Um, Brian, Bryson, Carolyn, Chase, Corey, I'm skipping a bunch of names, David, Don, sorry, but I'm trying to get all the way through the end. Um, Evelyn, Gary, Jack, uh, Crystal, Ken, Kevin, Linda, Mark, Michael, Mike, Nicholas, Patrick, Paul, Roxy, Sandra, Shannon, Tony, um, Tom, Tim, Will, Zach. Um, please jump in on this, man. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you guys, uh, you will not regret it. I want to see you successful. Patrick, thank you for jumping in on that. I promise I, I will not let you down. Um, thank you, American. Um, I think that's, I guess that's the name. Um, but a lot of people join, and I'm grateful that you did. Naomi, thank you. Brian, thank you. Stan, thank you. Peter, thank you. Myra. Um, Dapo, a lot of people join, and I'm grateful that you are. I'm, 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 I'm here to. One of the things I write down in closing, okay, in actual closing, I, I'm, I'm loving this. I don't, I don't know that I really want it to end, but it's got to end at some point. Um, thank you so much for the kind words. We all need positive energy and encouragement as a springboard to success. Thank you for your inspiration. I will be attending April Nation Vegas. Uh, Melanie, um, you make me cry. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I know that for me, and I, I don't get emotional much, but I write down my goals every day. And the last goal that I write down every single day is that I want to help every insurance agent in the world. And Jamie, thank you so much. Um, I don't know how else, and again, get in this if you haven't, I'm about to end this thing. I don't know how else to help people more than I already can. And hopefully this just adds to the validity that it's obvious that I want to help people as much as anybody else in the industry. I'm not saying I'm doing more than everybody else in the industry to help people, but I don't know of anybody trying to do more. And if there is, freaking point me in the direction so I can outdo them. Because I, I, my, my dad always said, don't ever let anyone hustle you. I ain't going to let anyone out hustle me. Um, and when I write that down every single day, that's the last goal I write down. J Justin, thank you so much. I'm committed to being successful. And I'm committed to staying humble and realizing that I've been put here to help you succeed. And I don't take it lightly. And I'm going to do everything in my power to make it a reality. Okay. Um, I love everyone. I'm grateful that you've been on this. Again, please join this. All right. Even if you just join it for a couple months, you're going to get a free strategy call with me. It's worth it. Um, also, which is which I've buried myself in work for the next few months. But whatever. All right. You only live once. Okay bury yourself in work put 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 so much on your plate that you have no choice but to be successful okay also not only can you get that but email me cody at cody askins if you want me to help your team or you want me to jump on and do a free training for you and your team or a free strategy call with you about how i can help your team i promise i can help you and your team let me okay also for april nation tickets um eight percent Email me, Cody, Cody Askins, and I'll give you a crazy deal to bring you and your team. And I want to help you. I want to be the one person that never gives up on seeing you succeed. Um, I'm committed to helping you. I'm sorry I wasn't able to get through all the comments. And, and, and let, I mean, I'm sorry I wasn't able to get through all the names that joined the membership. Um, last chance, by the way. Um, but I know that for me, when I, when I die, whether it's tomorrow, a year from now, 10 years from now, 60 years from now when I'm 89 or 100 years from now when I'm 129 because freak with this energy I may live to 129 who knows um, my mission is that when that day happens that I've left something such an in such, such a legacy on this industry that I'm viewed as someone that gave a lot and that committed to helping people forever um, and then I'm remembered forever, you know, uh, that's the kind of legacy I want to leave. And I don't want to do it in a greedy way. I want to do it in a humble way. I want to do it by giving away 2,000 videos on YouTube for free. It's been in two and a half hours live on a webinar because I love people and I want to see you succeed. Um, I've always enjoyed, and I'm wrapping this up, I promise. I've always enjoyed, so you got a couple of seconds to get in. I've always enjoyed helping others more, helping others make sales. Than seeing myself make sales. Okay, that's just that's just to be uh, 
that's just true, man. Mike, thank you for the text, buddy. Appreciate you too. Um, I we're now up over a thousand registered for today. That's unbelievable. People keep sharing it. You can still get the recording. You might as well, you know, freaking share it. Um, I love you guys and I want to see you succeed. And I get more energy and more passion out of helping other people succeed than I do my own. Okay. Than I do helping myself make sales. So I'm going to continue to pour into you and help you. Um, I'm very grateful. Justin, you got in, bro. Thank you. I'm grateful that you spent time with me. I'm grateful you're in this with me. And thank you for being a part of the first ever free telesales mastery webinar. The outpouring of positivity and the amount of people that showed up means a lot to me. And I'm grateful and I appreciate you. Click the link, hurry, get in. I'll do a free strategy call with you. Email me for help with your team or tickets. All right. Have a great Saturday. Love you guys and appreciate you. Thank you so much. Hey, if you love this video, stop what you're doing. Click right there. I've got another phone sales videos with tips specifically for you to convert people over the phone. Click on that video and I'll see you there. Today, I want to talk about five easy phone sales tips that you can implement right away and see success with. Okay, so stay with me as I go through each one of these, all right?